All right, boys and girls, welcome to Bingo is Life. Yeah. Yeah. The podcast, live and in person. <laughs> From Ruby's Arcade, we are actually inside. We are in, it. We yeah. are in the g- you arcade. You can actually hear the arcade going on around us. I'm joined by the <laughs> fabulous Howdy Show brothers, Chris. Hey. To my left, as you uh, watch the action on the screen, <laughs> Mike Howdy Show. Aha. Uh-huh. Over here, the one and only Dan Easley. If you hold this bowling ball to your ear, it sounds like the seashore. Ah. Uh-huh. And we are missing. Where? Where? Where is she? We're missing Mom Shackle, so we're going to be kind of a yin light on the show tonight. All right. Young. Heavy on the well, young. We, <laughs> Heavy on the young. We, <laughs> we miss young. you, Brittany. Sorry you can't be here. <laughs> young party. We miss mm. you already. <laughs> yeah, no. didn't take long, did it? Mm-mm. Yeah. So, uh, b- b- but we're back. Bingo is the first time in uh, three weeks or two weeks? Three. First time in three, yeah. Three weeks yeah. we were out. I just saw Orv. I know he did not win. He said he came close. Yeah, yeah oh, he showed was, up. I mean, we had we had a lot of uh, regulars roll back in. Yeah, and then we cool. had a just a great scene. Uh, they were into it. Oh yeah, right. Which was fun and a, a packed house. So and, I, and, I and the weather was horrible. So I, I yeah, I, I kept was thinking there was no one going to come out tonight. Yeah, I so, saw uh, uh, one of my friends uh, from Pickleball Ehab. He said he won a pizza. He Ooh, did. That's uh, right. He threw the uh, he threw the darts. He played poke my eye out. That's he, right. He said you made him dance. <laughs> no, I think he was just pulling my nah. leg. <laughs> you know, but what was interesting is he threw the darts at the balloons. Right. Yeah. He missed the balloons completely, but both of the balloons, which are taped to a wooden board, just fell down the board. Yeah. They just all of a sudden fell off, like out of fear. The balloons just fell off the board. Do you think that's like a cosmic coincidence? I, yeah, well, absolutely. What's your what's your balloon? <laughs> it's in? proof that there probably is a higher force. <laughs> at, at, <laughs> the balloon force. The balloon force. <laughs> at what pressure do you inflate the balloons? Because that's the old carnival <laughs> trick: is they underinflate the balloons, oh, right. so the darts mm. just well, bounce off. No, you gotta understand the dart. The dart did not even. That's it got nowhere near these balloons. He just he just threw it towards the balloons, and both of them, out of fear, just fell to the ground. Fascinating. Mm. It was. Yeah. I I think it was the masking tape. (laughs) I think it was Uh, bad masking tape. Poor tape. We haven't used that tape in three weeks. Since 2020, we just haven't been able to get high quality masking tape. Right, right. Nobody wants to tape anymore. (laughs) And and I personally (laughs) blew. A balloon? <laughs> yeah, the, the balloons? The balloons. Oh, good. I blew up the balloons. Yeah. Yes, and did. I, uh, I'm going to say they were pretty firm. Okay. Oh. Well. But he did win, and, well he, and, he, and he, uh, he popped both of them, correct? He did. It was, he did. It was like a one-two. Yeah. Did it, yeah. Did you, uh, Once we retaped them back up. How did? Yeah. I'm assuming I would have already heard had someone won the one hundred dollars. You would have. Yeah. You would have. I videotaped it because the guy's name was Curtis, yes, and he was right. pretty confident. He was confident. And he was like, I thought, "I've rolled a strike before. This right. is no big deal." So I said, "Oh man, well I better record this guy. He's probably going to do it." How many pins did one. he that? One. One. Hey. He got one. Has everybody heard the soundtrack to uh, Superfly by Curtis Mayfield? That's an amazing album. <laughs> mm, okay. No. Hmm. I just no. throw that out there. All right. Just yeah. it. But we just, before we do that, I just want to say for those I who are that. listening, we're, 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 we're talking about Bingo is Life, the uh, mm-hmm. live in-person variety show at Ruby's Arcade, our sponsor in downtown yes, Harrisonburg. Hey, Ruby's. Ruby's. Tropical downtown Harrisonburg this evening. Sub, sub, 55 sub, degrees out there. Subtropical. subtropical. And the climax of the evening is the last winner of the last bingo game gets to roll a ball, a, a vintage duck pin ball to yeah. get a strike for 100 and yeah. and can we talk about what our, I, our possibility is? I, I did I did get it approved. Okay, great. So this our is, sponsor, thank you again, oh, Ruby, mm-hmm, uh-huh. has approved something very special. Yes. Oh. So it has been three three years, years <laughs> since we've had a one hundred dollar winner. They yeah. it's it's hard. I mean it's hard. So, but if uh, you go onto the uh, the Bingo is Life uh, Facebook, I think yeah. you can see that we've had winners there. We took pictures. Yeah. Yeah, At least when, of one of them. Yeah, when they win hundred dollars, we've yeah. taken their picture. Yeah, and uh, it's, so it, it has happened. Yeah. So, but uh, since it's been so long, we're going to do it, and uh, we'll let you know when. It's probably sometime in March. Yeah. Right. Um, unless we get a winner before then, mm. we're going to do a night in which every game the winner has a chance to roll for a hundred dollars. Well, and we just want to keep going with the game until no, someone somebody wins a hundred dollars. Wins the hundred dollars. Oh. Because we yeah, want we right? want to give it away. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's time. So we and open the doors of opportunity. A hundred dollars yeah. is worth probably 
seventy nine dollars now compared to three years ago. So uh, wow. you can up the up the ante. Wow. One hundred and eleven dollars. Yeah. Okay. Still, you you can still, talk to our sponsor, Jay. <laughs> yeah. It still costs nothing to play. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's well, right. My question so is: it's more valuable now to play than it was before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you because go. They've increased their cost by zero. Whoa. Oh. My, my, Math. My, I feel like. My question is: this is, really I brought, a, this is the smartest podcast. Yeah, I should have brought this up in the uh, in the. Uh, I should have researched this during the uh, Duck Pins trivia episode way back when. Ah, yes, right. But, uh, it's, what is the uh, is is there? What are the the probability of getting a, a strike in Duck Pins relative to regular ten? Low. Yeah, it's like three trillion to one. Three trillion no, no, to no, one. It's, 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 the ball is a lot littler. It's it more difficult than the. Yeah. W- w- what we now just call bowling. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's what I said. Ten pin, ten pin yeah. bowling. Yeah. Ten pin. The, the ball, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. <laughs> Getting back to Superfly. <laughs> why did you bring that up? Oh, yeah. Where's Curtis? Curtis. 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 Did he Curtis. die? Uh, yeah, but I think it's been some time. <laughs> I, I yeah. didn't hear yet. No, there was. There I, was I don't get the newspaper anymore. There was. There was someone here named named Curtis who oh, made oh. the attempt at the oh, hundred dollar, oh, oh, oh. yeah. and it just it, it flashed in my head. I'd been listening to the soundtrack to Superfly. I'll catch up. I'll uh, catch some, up. some time ago, on nice. the car radio. That seventies music really holds up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. To, to yeah. whom, Jay? To, <laughs> to, whom? to old men oh, who, okay. who, first, who first had the sexual hormones coursing through their I bodies I, when I, it was on you. the radio in it's, 1847. Yeah. I think who I, last had those coursing <laughs> through their bodies? I, I think, uh, though, there, there really is something. Isn't that how they defined uh, the generations by the music that they were listening to when they were, like, in their 15, 16, 17, 18 no, years? No, no. No? Well, go ahead. I, th- I thought that was like where they, they kind of drew the line. Like, that's where the generational identity came yeah. from. Oh, I got all kinds of excitement going on. I do in the know. I, 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 found, I found out recently I'm Generation Jones. I thought I was a boomer, yeah, but I'm. What the heck I'm, is that? What it's is something that's between. Uh, are we gen- just making up stuff now? No, this is true. It's between Generation X and gen- and boomers. It's called Generation Jones, and oh. it's worse than being a boomer. Wow. Oh, good, good. How is it worse? Yeah. Well, apparently, they're just really obnoxious, uh, right, you, right have wing. You, have uh, you voted to reduce the tax on billionaires and <laughs> shut down mental hospitals? Or I, I, the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. You know. I don't know that. I missed Sorry, that meeting. Just, I missed, okay. You missed yeah. the meeting. Yeah. Where, the do you know where, where? Where does the name Jones? Where was that coming from? That I don't know. But this is, is keeping true. up with the Joneses. W- Wikipedia. Sorry, I'm perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Look. Look. We we'll have to look it up. So Wikipedia told you this. Your your generation Jones. I, I, I'm, I'm well. I'm sure. I'm sure that would be the easiest way to find it out. But I'm, I will say that it, I would verify everything beyond Wikipedia because sure, you know sure. I'm a Generation Jones kind of guy. Yes, <laughs> so, <laughs> so what, what? remember Snopes? I'm a Snopes kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Snopes. Is that still a thing? Snopes? Oh yeah, it's it still is. there. Okay. 100. Yeah. And, and, look and it still looks your, uh, exactly the same as it did in like 1996. Right? There is no giant lizard living in the gutters of Harrisonburg, Virginia. Virginia. Man, Snopes. Speaking but if the gutters, they'd be voting to reduce the taxes on billionaires. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to lower my taxes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the comedy uh, career is proving quite yeah, lucrative. Comedy career uh, is just skyrocketing. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I'm gonna yeah. think about uh, this four open mics coming up. I'm gonna do four. No, there's four. one Friday night in Charlottesville. Okay, an open a comedy open comedy. comedy open mic, and then there's one Wednesday night, a new one in uh, Stanton at the Brick. Uh, what? There's a I new saw that the Brick something or other, and then I believe Thursday Ba-da-da-da house. Yes, <laughs> and <laughs> Thursday Thursday at the, at the at the Brothers. I think I'm gonna head on down. Okay, so at Brothers mic. at Brothers they do that once a month. Yeah, right? it's, he's back to the third Thursday. Okay, third so I'll Thursday. Be, I'll be down there, and in Charlottesville. It's, fr- it's normally on Monday, but he's doing a, one on a Friday night. Okay. Are the same comedians going? Like you are going yes, to it's the, the same, same ones. It's, so the, it's the same ones. Every it's the same ones every time. Which you know is cool. Yeah. But you community. Have, you're building. I think community. they. I think they call that a community. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. it's do, cool. It's cool. You do start hearing the same jokes over right. and over again. Yeah. Take my wives, now, please. Now, like when <laughs> when the when the evening is done and you know all the people there, do, do you all hang out and talk? Yeah, about like, yeah. Oh, see, so you're giving each other pointers and yeah. You know, 
<laughs> like, you, like, you would like, be funnier if you told funny jokes. Because comedians, yeah. comedians like, are such no, they're known so much, day job. so okay. much for being helpful people. Yeah, yeah. they're they're, they're yeah. like I just got a new book on comedy for Christmas, and then one of the lines was, "You know, don't take advice from people." The com- a lot of comedians will give you bad a bad advice on purpose. Oh, Try nice. to sabotage oh. your career. Sabotage. I don't know. Wow, I don't know it's enough. sabotage. It's, it's funny. <laughs> so today on NPR, I, I ended up listening to NPR today. I don't know why. And was Dan uh, Easley on there? And Dan Easley wasn't even on there. Oh. That's the crazy I'm part. I'm Dan Easley. Um, and so the, the, the guy goes, well, uh, Mitt Romney thinks that uh, Joe Biden should blah, blah, blah. And then the, the other commentator goes, uh, I don't think Joe Biden should be listening to anything Mitt Romney has to say. <laughs> I thought that was so funny that that, that was that was what they were talking That's about. That's like about any comedian getting their president. advice from Jay. <laughs> yeah. oh. Maybe if you oh. took a pause after oh, the uh, part yeah, about right. the uh, right. dead possum. <laughs> Change the possum to a skunk. <laughs> Skunks are hilarious. Yeah. Explore skunks more. Uh. That's the kind of things they say to each other. Uh. Explore. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was following along up until. Uh, the well, I've, ago. I've had a few beers yeah. with comedians, and that's the way it goes. Yeah. It just gets weird. Yeah. Looking out, dodging sabotage. Mm. <laughs> comedians, well, yeah. I've, I've been to one uh, comedy open mic in that Brothers. It was fine. It was cool. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just not. Um, it, it just. Oh, I felt embarrassed for. Some of them. <laughs> well, I, I, well, you don't have to feel embarrassed for me. I know I'm bad. <laughs> but, no, but some of them were really funny, though. Yeah. And then, and then you're so, but you got really funny, and then you got like, oh gosh, we have, and then, then it, you might have somebody, you know. But they're just, you know, that whole like pouring your heart out on stage. Yeah, right. right. God, right. it's so sad and uh, beautiful at the same uh, time. You're, you're an empathetic person, oh, man. That's man. kind of you. An empath. Oh. Uh, yeah, I feel it. I'm not sure I would. So, uh, I mean, I think we all have the I capability so. of being empathetic, and I, I think we all struggle with our emotional boundaries. I, I don't think labeling somebody is an empath. That, mm. Does that mean they're better than the rest of us? Or does yes. that mean yes. they're more? Yes. Of a, <laughs> oh, I see. No, no they're they're just really sensitive. Sensitive. <laughs> Like I have, I have a friend who told me. He said that when a movie's on, like in the living room, if there's a tense situation, he'll just in start the movie, crying. You know, he has to leave the living room. Like uh, me too. That, that's oh, that oh. to me is an empath. I can't oh. even watch Leave It to Beaver reruns anymore. <laughs> that's so embarrassing right. for Wally. I have to leave the room. That is not an empath. <laughs> can, can we just say the line though? It's too good. <laughs> <laughs> what line? What? No. There's a Leave It to Beaver line in there somewhere. It's really somewhere. good. Oh. It's really good. I think. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I gotta think. I gotta think of his name. It's Wa- Wally, right? There's Wally is the yeah. Yeah. Ward. Ward. Ward is the name Ward. of the husband. Hey, Ward, you were awful hard on the Beaver last night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. Uh, that's a bit of wordplay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Even, even in yeah. 1959, when they yeah. pitched that show, you're, you're going to call it what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave it to Beaver. Yeah. Nobody will know. Nobody will know in America. Can I, I also? I listen to awesome. I listen to uh, stuff huh. you should know, which is a really funny podcast, and they did a great episode on beavers. And I loved it. That's a, it was that's, fantastic. That's a amazing wow. recovery here. Oh yeah. no, yeah, well, no, tell, no, us, no. tell no. us, tell us what you've learned about beavers. Oh, uh, okay. Are you ready for this? <laughs> uh, when, yes. when the Americans <laughs> arrived, when 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 we arrived over here, oh, yeah. the Americas, mm. uh, North and South, right. They estimate there was around seven hundred and fifty million beavers in the Americas wow. and we of, decimated them yeah. onto the brink of extinction. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time we killed all the buffalo. I mean yeah. the killing that occurred when 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 the Europeans yeah. rolled over here is is phenomenal. But the beavers have come back. They're uh, they're the type of species that if a they're beaver a hardy is, bunch. Yeah, if 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 you if you they have a name for it, but if a beaver is in your area, it your area typically does really well. Yeah. Uh, it's because they're dam builders. They yeah, they're dam builders. They're herbivores. Those they're dam just builders. good. Dam builders. Well, we they're, used they're, to have a buffalo in the Shenandoah Valley. The uh, Route Eleven oh, right. was, uh, was a buffalo trail. That's right. Oh, so the, the, the eastern buffalo is extinct. When I was in elementary school, there was a buffalo farm uh, that we yes. would go visit. I, and 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 our parents know the guy's name. Yes. I forget what the farm was. Yep. But we would go visit the buffalo. You know the in inter- elementary school. The interesting thing is the. Uh, 
the Europeans did kill quite a few animals and decimated, but they also the uh, when humans first arrived in what 12,000, 20,000 years ago, they also decimated all the megafauna oh. went extinct. Uh, same thing happened in Australia. They, they just decimated. There was all kinds of uh, wildlife in Australia. The, uh, Giant marsupials. But there uh, still is crazy. I learned Australia's recently thing. about about uh, sea tortoises. Giant tortoises. Giant tortoises. That you know, uh, all these animals. We've given them names in Latin in the you know the scientific classification system. Uh, Linnaeus. Linnaeus yes. after, yeah, Linnaeus came. Some Dutch scientist, I think, came up came up with a, you know, uh, calling animals by Latin names so that uh, normal people wouldn't know what... Well, they, they should be about. uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, wouldn't want to, uh, you know, uh, practice science in the vulgar tongue. Uh, so it was like 30 years after the discovery of the giant tortoise before it was assigned a Latin name. It took them that long because they weren't able to bring giant tortoises back to to Europe, to England, or, or you know, to these these colonialist scientists, because they were so tasty. Oh, Whoa. didn't see it going there. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah, all the descriptions of, soup. <laughs> of giant tortoises is all the early yeah. descriptions for years is just about how how well how good they were i mean they're compared Eat, to yeah. you know compared to poultry compared yeah, to right. beef compared to all these different types of meat and and, <laughs> compared and, they, to favor, and they wrote nothing else yeah, down against, except good yeah. good with a little salt oh yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah well, we're basically we're right. apex predators we've just been eating <laughs> yeah. things yeah. Yeah. Boy, i wonder if we could eat yeah. that <laughs> yeah yes yes we yeah. can There's and then they ate world. it all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he says yeah. when the when the, the europeans got over here they, they said that the rivers and where the ocean would, and the rivers would meet it would just be full of fish, and you could walk. They're like, you can walk across that water just walking on the fish. There's so many. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. they're yeah. huge. These, I mean, there's. In, in the times Ch- were different. We, sounds, we killed all a little hyperbolic. Nope, we killed them. No, oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. No, in the Chesapeake Bay, there Chesapeake were Bay. there were uh, there were like sandbars, except they were oyster shells, and they were marked on maps so that boats wouldn't run into them and sink. Uh, and those just aren't there anymore. Mm. Uh, uh, Tangier Island is is disappearing. Oh, really? I've heard that. Yeah, it's for like a long time. It's been. Yeah. Speaking of all this cheerful news, do you, do yeah. your kids have a gig coming up anytime? Wow. Uh, some fun music, hey, well, some howdy we show action. The, the, uh, well, there is the uh, we we should continue talking about what's happening over at Pale Fire. Uh, yeah, little Tom February Petty. 16th. Yeah, February 16th. Somebody yeah. was practicing his song today. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of local musicians practicing their Tom oh, Petty yeah. songs. Their Tom uh, Petty songs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, want, I want you to have that memorized, too. No looking at a piece of paper. I, oh, I, I yeah. Wouldn't, well, I wouldn't look at it. Ah, Are you joking? I, I didn't even look at a piece of paper last time. That's right. I'm That's looking right. at a piece of paper. I knew it. I, uh, knew it. I He's care. printing it off to, to I, I care for the audience too much to leave so, uh, them to the, the, the vagaries of a lousy memory. What, mm-hmm. what's that you know this when you, when you go down to uh, open mic these days, they've got a stand right there for your iPad or yeah. your, your phone so you can like really? look at the lyrics. Cheating. Cheating. Oh, yeah. And so um, uh, we had Bro. Christian Bro. Christian Parrott was on here last week. Did he finally decide on the song? He did on we, Thursday. Yes. Do you want to tell there him? Was it? Yeah, it. I don't remember what it was. Uh, time, time to move on. <laughs> time to move on. It's, uh, I don't even know that going. one. Yeah. It's what, on Time to get the going. Yeah, yeah. Although yeah. The, it's, what's it's also great is the, I think we uh, collectively, there's, I'm pretty sure it's eight to ten songs off of that album are being covered. And that was, uh, I, mm-hmm. I hope I'm not pulling the curtain away too too far, but uh, that, that was a weird metaphor. Uh, <laughs> the veil. Uh, um, the v- <laughs> showing how the sausage is yeah, made. Right. Yeah, But w- was that not sort of the original idea, sort of the genesis for this? Yeah, was yeah. Just love of that album, yeah. Wildflowers. Wildflowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, yeah. the idea was let's cover Wildflowers. Yeah, and yeah. then it kind of became... 
easier to do a full tump. Let's mm-hmm. clarify. Yeah, we're talking easier for an audience probably as well. Yeah. But, we're talking yeah. about a tribute to the uh, seminal American songwriter Tom Petty. Correct. It's going to be at Pale Fire on February 16th. Yeah, right. With 30,000 no, I mean, <laughs> local uh, musicians. Well, there's going to be 27 songs. 27 yeah, songs yeah. by different wow. artists. Um, and, yeah, and uh, uh, there's some. Is there material out now to tell people who the bands are? It's coming. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's done-ish. Yeah, done-ish. Yeah, All it right. looks awesome. Yeah. Jeff Gwynn has made the poster. I mean, right. yeah, it's great. It's, so it's going look, to be. I mean, it's going to be the Hot Mamas will be there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The uh, Howdy Show Brothers will in their Cheryl, all their bands. Cheryl, Cheryl Sewell. Sewell. Yeah. Kelly Mae Sha- Brown. Sean will be drumming probably some. Yep, absolutely. Uh, uh, the Townies, I guess, is what they're calling yeah. themselves, something like right. that. The ta- I don't know. I that don't know. Is Bill, 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 Bill Howard, Bill Howard, yeah. Bill Howard. Trout Mouth, Trout Mouth. Yes. Yesterday, Jay Zare. Yeah, yeah. Jay Zare. Dan Easley. Dan Easley. Oh. But then that who it crab, action. More good with, crab action. Crab action. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch I, of good I, ones. Yeah. I'm Blind super Peach. I don't know if you know those guys. Yes. Yep. Jeff Mo. Oh, I know Jeff Moe. Jeff yeah. Moe is, is going to be. What's he? Yeah. What's he his, doing? His band is called Blind Peach. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was called Dragon Wheel. Or the, Dragon, Dragon Wagon. wagon. Dragon Wagon. And, yeah. That's and, many umlauts. And yeah. yes. <laughs> many umlauts. Yeah. Which I believe would make it Dragon Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. you yeah. <laughs> an, an umlaut, which was replaced with the uh, O-E yeah. combination uh, diphthong in, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, when anglicized. Uh, the diphthong, you... You hold your mouth as though you're going to go O, O, and then you go O, and you end up with O. Okay, which you know sounds kind of. I'm so glad he explained that. I have, you know, I had an idea today, uh, this week. If, if, okay, are we at time yet? I can go on. We have okay. Like, there's all these sounds in the different languages that 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 are unique to the languages and not to other languages. Yes. Say in Spanish. And if you're not a native, weren't raised speaking, say, Spanish or Chinese okay. or yeah, Mandarin sure. or whatever, you don't know how to make that sound. Mm-hmm. What if we like taught all children a song that had all the sounds, all the unique sounds from all the languages? That song would be like 30 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. They got good uh, memories. You got, you got, you, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wada, wada, bing, bang. Uh, oh, that might be it. Right? Yeah. 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 Right. That's it. That might be it. Get, 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 get working on that <laughs> for the NPR. Can mm. you call up uh, Nina Totenberg? Is she still alive? I, don't, I, have, I have no idea. Nina. I have no idea. Uh, the best thing I ever heard on NPR was uh, during a fundraiser, oddly enough, when one of the uh, thank you gifts for making a contribution was the Nina Toten bag. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> why, why, is that, uh, why is that odd? Half the, half the programming is the uh, fundraiser. Uh-huh, Every time you yeah. turn on NPR. <laughs> Please send us uh, money. We uh, remember that our podcast does not reflect the, <laughs> <laughs> the whatever Jay is talking about with NPR. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of my, <laughs> the, the, the opinions expressed, the opinions by, expressed Jay by Jay are not necessarily by Jay Zare. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we've reached the 20 minutes. We've reached the 20 and, minutes. And uh, uh, I do want to make one quick shout out to Grayson. Hey! Just because I haven't hey, said yeah, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Grayson. Hey, man. How's it going? He's, he, he told and, me. He and says, we're going we're, we're to get him on board here, right? Yeah, Which, yeah. He's, he's he is going to come. Okay. Yeah. He's in it. Yep. Sweet. He's going to do it. Yeah. And we've talked to some other people. There, uh, I think Bill Howard might, Bill Howard might join is us. Bill Howard is going to do it. Oh, good. 100%. Um, and then the, um, the, I don't know what to call them, the bingo wedding people. Uh, we, we, yeah, we, we, we had some uh, folks that uh, regulars that came to watch the bingo show and they got married and they invited us to their wedding and we played bingo at their oh, wedding. Are they still married? Did they make they, it they three made months? It, well, they've yeah. made it this far. So, uh. Keep on yeah. keeping on, at least my, until the next podcast. My apologies to WMRA and all the hardworking people. Uh, same here. Really. Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so that's, that's wrapping it up. The music is playing in the background as we speak yeah. here and now yeah. remember that's all you got no. kids here and now be here and now <laughs> uh, bingo is life live and in person 7 30 every week tuesday night and on the internet whenever you want yes for the podcast see you next time good night bingo is life a post bingo harrisonburg podcast is brought to you by the brothers how to show and our friends at ruby's arcade in downtown harrisonburg virginia 
If you've enjoyed the show and feel it's worth spreading a little joy in this world, please tell just one person that you like this podcast. Word of mouth, more than any other form of promotion, is how creative works get noticed and sustain themselves. Thank you, Andrew Hickey, for that bit of wisdom. And thank you, listeners, for being part of the fun. <laughs>